doing a uh, quick update on refunding the system. Uh, this system, I had fire pipes running in, and uh, this is about uh, 4,000 litre tank, about 3,500 litres of water uh, for the fishies. And um, done a bit of tinkering. I used to have the outlets coming out of there, uh, which is pretty high in the tank. Uh, you know, that's over my head, so about two metres high. And they used to run like these inlets down into the greenhouse there, into the bed. Uh, they had a, uh, if you pretend that these were outlets coming out of the tank, it had a vent sitting up here to stop it becoming a siphon, uh, you know, to break any lock that had happened and empty that tape pretty quickly. But um, I, I liked the pipes quite high, because you can see with uh, these ones, I can walk underneath them. I got, uh, you know, too many bumps on the head, having anything too low, and I didn't really like stepping over things. So, but uh, in the end, uh, it had a 25 mil outlet. So that one skimmed the top of the tank, cleans all the fish food on the top and any other debris on the top. And this outlet, uh, going back to the grow beds, was picking up all the crap from the bottom of the tank, so any, anything heavy. Um, I upgraded my tank, uh, my pump, recently. Uh, this system uh, was running 3,500 litre an hour pump coming out of a sump into the tank. And uh, I've upgraded to a 9,000 litre an hour uh, DC pump, but it's only running at about 4,500. I just wanted a bit more flow, uh, get everything happening faster. Uh, gives it more power skimming the top and the bottom of the tank. Um, you know, as you see um, on the other side, where we were. So they were coming in. Now they're coming in a bit lower. Uh, so you can see an outlet on the left side, skimming the top. So the little knob sticking out of the tank wall there, that's skimming the top of the tank. And the other one, that one there, you can see it's got a 45 degree bend. And it just takes all the crap off the top. So this tank is basically, you could drink the water in this tank. Uh, the system so clean all the time. And that's the 40 that goes all the way to the bottom because of all the heavy weights. So, yeah, they've been re-plumbed down lower. Uh, they used to come in up high, which creates a lot of problems. Um, this tank is sitting at about 1.6 metres high for the water level. Uh, and you'll find that air, putting the air lines in, Hitting the two metre and over mark, uh, it's just too hard for the air and the pressure needed to, uh, you know, get a lot of bubbles happening. So they, they struggle, the pipe air holding on my uh, air lines, uh, you know, you'd only get a trickle of air, it'd, it'd favour one air stone over another, that kind of thing. So uh, I wanted to drop the levels a little bit, and the experiment was to see how much I could, how high and how full a tank it could be. Um, but you, you can't, you know, you can't beat gravity, the pressure's just too big, so Bring the water level down uh, about 50 centimetres uh, has made a big difference. You can see the sloppy painting on these. Uh, uh, these are the new outlets going into the grow bed. So now they're plumbed down to the ground and up again. And then into a little biofilter in the corner. And that uh, that one there is now the top skimmer. So the, old, uh, the older plumbing I had on this, uh, the top skimmer going into that little and still pot there, uh, collecting all the crap. Uh, you can probably see why I skimmed the top. See fish food they haven't eaten this morning, or yesterday or whatever. Uh, Needs a clean out, that'll all go off. And gummy if it's sitting in your tank. And I also don't want it, you know, flowing into the grow bed. You can't get it out. Those, you know, fish pellets and things like that, it's just not possible to get them out. Um, so this pipe used to be a 25 mil, and now it's a 32 mil coming out of the tank. So it skims a lot more water off the top. Uh, and the 40 mil come into a little biofilter which has some standard aquarium kind of mesh in the top to catch uh, heavies from the bottom um, trickles out along the bed so it, it kind of evenly disperses the 40 mil from the bottom of the tank along the bed. Yeah so I found um, coming down low it's slightly annoying I'll, I'll fill this up a little bit uh, the ramps now been bent to you know accommodate being able to walk across the top that kind of thing um, and now I'll pretty much bury most of that, those pipes, so people don't kick them, trip over, or whatever. But uh, yeah, so at the end of the day, trying to get huge tanks, uh, you can only go wide, you can't go high. Uh, two meter tank is just impossible 
the gravity of the airlines, it, it just can't handle it. And I have uh, a decent air pump, like a compressor type, um, 60, 70 litres a, uh, a minute, and it couldn't handle two metre high tank. Uh, so yeah, dropping it down uh, with a bit of experimentation with the airlines, uh, sitting at about 1.6 metres was about as high as I'd want to go for a tank. Um, this tank's obviously a water tank that's just been converted, and uh, you know, on-site commercial stuff. Uh, you know, I wouldn't put a tank like this, but uh, it's more um, a lot of the tanks and things I have done, grow beds, things like uh, the rafts and grow beds. All the tanks are custom made, uh, all roto moulded. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to work out the best way to make a larger fish tank. Most of the fish tanks I see are just too small. Uh, and also the price, you know, it just gets ridiculous. Some of the uh, official fish tanks, uh, you know, you're looking at about three and a half thousand dollars just to have a tank with about four or five thousand litres in it, which isn't that much really, depending on the scale of how many grey beds you've got. So yeah, just a bit of an update on um, the maximum height you can go uh, for a tank. It's pretty much 1.6 metres high. If you're going to cut tanks up, uh, don't bother trying to go bigger, go wider. Uh, so the next test tank uh, won't be something like this. Uh, this will just be, you know, this is part of the experimentational. As you can see now, it's uh, got a few holes in it here and there. A uh, few uh, trap doors and things all hanging in. So I'll uh, have to tidy this tank up now. But um, you know, in the end, it was a good experiment to see, you know, height, uh, gravity feeding out of the tank and the type of um, pipe work, uh, you know, to get the maximum flow of water uh, without overkill. So, um, you know, just to pick up that and what's been going on. And uh, just a final note, these tanks are, you know, eight mil thick or whatever. Uh, you can pretty much cut them with anything. And this uh, opening was just cut in yesterday with a Stanley knife. Uh, I didn't want to empty all the fish out of the tank. I didn't want to empty the water or do anything crazy. You can use an angle grinder or something to cut these kind of tanks. It makes a big mess. Very, very fine plastic will end up inside the tank. And uh, I don't think it should be happy. So, um, you know, it's a good old Stanley knife. I was almost going to heat it up for a while just to make it faster. But you know, in the end, it, it you know, did a, a nice cut. Not too shabby. You know, even the corners are OK and everything. So, um, you know, easy enough to work with. Uh, and uh, you know, this one's doing the job just as a, a, a test for flying around with all the different concepts. So, yeah, there you have it. Cool next time.